that has informed your patterns in life and and taking real ownership of how we have co-created our misery and our joy and taking our power back entering our sovereignty welcome back really racers listen yeah, yeah she's interviewing our patterns she's kept us smart yeah i got excited because of others i've been hearing too really much about women to should not be and women are not toxicities and i heard that too much authentic self so in my own life that's what i did and i've, I've been doing it more and more it's never it feels good to hear the other yeah, thing now. never ending process there you for go. sure <sighs> yeah i love that i'd love to talk the true side about I think is one that of we're the actually balances smarter. that's often Oops. so interesting to try to navigate is sort of how much time to spend understanding the origin okay, of patterns. Okay, that can't be all true. Right? It's sort just that like God gave us more responsibility. That, like, family that's story of true. Like, well, where did it come from? And where did I get these ideas? And, oh, this is how God this gave dynamic might have affected responsibility. me, right? Without sort of getting stuck in that. So this Don't is get mad because God tasks us with it and not you, You know, my parents fucked me up and now that's that. Or whatever your version of it is. So I'm just There's no to reason to be jealous. About how do you try to walk that line with your Remember clients? Remember Cain and Abel? Why be jealous? Yeah, you know. I all, often say I don't even care how it all began. Mm-hmm. It's really lovely to know, but it's probably just one of your first five caregivers that passed this on to you. So that's never my focus of mm-hmm. how it started. My focus is only what is it? What are the patterns? What are they now? And how do they manifest in your life in the now? And how do we disrupt them in the now? That's right, in the now. We, you know, all of us grew up with some degree of disruption. Then, then, some of when, us grew up then, with more trauma when, than then. You just missed and it, exactly. Let's focus on that. For that. Yeah. But we don't need to get stuck in the how. We just need to get stuck in the what. Uh-huh. What it was, what it is now. How there can you go. it be disrupted in the present moment? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that. So you write in the book about what you call an epidemic of disconnection and unhappiness. Ooh, which I an think epidemic! A lot of people will. I want to hear more with, about that. I mean, so let's put that on pause so know we can know listen to that at the next week. Oh, I really love this conversation. Of the things, I think have been. Like, <sighs> 